Hello everyone and welcome back to Redomination. Welcome to the formula series of JW Main and Advanced. So, जो भी लोग JW Main 2021 में appear करने वाले हैं, उनको ये formula series जरूर देखनी चाहिए। मैंने पहले भी कुछ formula revision videos बनाए थे, जिनका मैं description यहाँ या यहाँ डाल दूँगा। And apart from that, अभी देखते हैं binomial theorem. Binomial theorem के मैंने सारे formula आपको revise करवा दिए। Apart from that, I have made sure कि उसका application based कुछ questions भी मैं दे दूँ। so it's an animated video, it's a small video, give it 10 minutes, see the whole video, what do you know, you can help me. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so factorial notation is given by the formula. So factorial notation is given by n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 3, 2, 1 when n belongs to natural numbers and it is equal to 1 when n is 0. So we can derive two formulas here. First one is n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial and you can continue it likewise like n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. The second uh, property is 0 factorial is 1 and the proof of the same can be found here. Now let's look at combinations. So ncr is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial. It is also denoted as in the curly brackets n and r or c of n and r. Now let's look at the properties of combinations. First property is ncr is equal to n c n minus r second property is n c r plus n c r minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 c r the third property is n c r upon n c r minus 1 is equal to n minus r plus 1 upon r the fourth property is n c r can be written as n by r into n minus 1 c r minus 1 which you can extend again as n by r into n minus 1 upon r minus 1 into n minus 2 c r minus 2 the fifth property is if ncx is equal to ncy, then you can derive two results. First one is x is equal to y and the second one is x plus y is equal to n. The sixth property is if n and r are relatively prime numbers, then ncr is divisible by n, but the converse may not be necessarily true. Binomial theorem states that the expansion of x plus y to the power n is equal to nc0 x to the power n plus nc1 x to the power n minus 1 into y plus nc2 x to the power n minus 2 y square up to ncn y to the power n where n belongs to natural numbers. So this expansion has n plus 1 terms. In each term the degree is n and the coefficient of x to the power n minus r into y to the power r is equal to the number of ways n minus r x's and r y's can be arranged which is given by n c r. p plus 1th term from the end is n minus p plus 1th term from the beginning. And binomial coefficients of terms equidistant from beginning and the end are equal. The general term is given by t of r plus 1 is equal to n c r x to the power n minus r y to the power r where r can be 0, 1, 2, up to n. Pascal's triangle is a very important tool that is used to determine the coefficient of binomial expansion. The triangle can be seen here and you can see that adding up the two terms in the first row gives you a term in the second row and the values of n are given on the left hand side and you can see that you can uh, find out that uh, for the n is equal to 2 you can see that 2c0 will be 1 2c1 will be 2 and 2c2 will be 1 similarly the construction of this triangle justifies why ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr some standard expansions we know that x plus y to the power n can be written as summation r is equal to 0 to n ncr x to the power n minus r y is equal to r if you put y is equal to 1, you will get a standard expansion of 1 plus x to the power n. It can be given as summation of r is equal to 0 to n, n c r x to the power r. Substituting that x with minus x, you will get expansion of 1 minus x to the power n as summation r is equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the power r, n c r x to the power r. Now some tips to find coefficient of required term. If you want to find the coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power n, it is given as n c r. If you want to find the coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 plus a x to the power n, then it is n c r a to the power r. If you want to find the coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of a plus b x to the power n, it is n c r b to the power r 
a to the power n minus r. If you want to find the coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power p to the power n, then it is n c r by p if r is multiple of p. Please note that nc0 can be written as c0. Now let's see some of binomial coefficients. So c0 plus c1 plus c2 up to cn can be written as 2 to the power n and this can be derived easily by putting x is equal to y is equal to 1 in the binomial expansion. The second result is c0 minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 up to cn is 0. The third result is c0 plus c2 plus c4 uh, up to infinity is equal to c1 plus c3 plus c5 up to infinity it is given as 2 to the power n minus 1. Now sum of coefficients in binomial expansion. If you need to find the sum of coefficients in binomial expansion you just need to put all the values of variable as 1 and you will get the sum of coefficients. Here is an example to demonstrate that. Using a little bit of calculus you can also find c1 plus 2c2 plus 3c3 plus 4c4 up to ncn is given as n into 2 to the power n minus 1. In the binomial expansion of x plus y to the power n, the middle term depends upon the value of n. If n is even, then the total number of terms are going to be odd and therefore there is only one middle term that is n plus 2 by 12th term. But if n is odd, then the total number, number of terms are going to be even and therefore there will be two middle terms, n plus 1 by 12th term and n plus 3 by 12th term. Also, middle term always carries the greatest binomial coefficient. As n is even, the middle term will have the greatest uh, binomial coefficient that is n c n by 2 and when n is odd, there will be two greatest binomial coefficient n c n minus 1 by 2 and n c n plus 1 by 2. Applications of binomial expansion can be seen by in different perspectives and the best way to understand them is by seeing the examples where we can apply them. So the first application is 2 is always less than or equal to 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is less than 3 where n is always greater than or equal to 1 and n belongs to natural number. So this expansion can be applied in questions of this form. The second important points are 1 plus x to the power n minus 1 is given as nc1x plus nc2x square up to ncn minus 1x to the power n minus 1 plus ncn x to the power n. It is always divisible by x. Also, 1 plus x to the power n minus 1 minus nx will be equal to nc2x square up to ncn x to the power n. This will be always divisible by x square. The applications can be seen in this example. The third application of binomial expansion is in finding the remainder when some number is divisible by some other number. Its example and step by step uh, application can be seen here. The fourth one is expansion of x plus y to the power n plus minus x minus y to the power n. These are the given formulas and they can be used in questions of this form. And the last application is to find the greatest term in binomial expansion. If we have an expansion of the form ax plus by to the power n, so consider this ax as a constant capital A and by as a constant capital B. So the condition for greatest term is tr plus 1 upon tr mod should be greater than or equal to 1. Solving the condition we get r should be less than or equal to n plus 1 mod of b upon mod a plus mod b. Let n be a rational number and x be a real number such that mod of x is less than 1. Then the expansion of 1 plus x to the power n is given by this formula. So this is an expansion that is for uh, when n is a fraction or a negative value. Okay. So what you should note here is that this expansion goes up till infinity and this can be never 0. Also one thing to note down here is that the coefficient uh, that one term must be 1 that it should be in the form of 1 plus x and if it is not then there are two condition if uh, if you have uh, x plus a to the power n so case 1 gives us that we have to take x common and case 2 when mod x is less than mod a uh, then we should take a common now some standard expansions can be given by this formula just pause the video and look at them if uh, mod of x is less than 1 
so x square and higher powers may be neglected and hence the expansion of 1 plus x to the power n might become 1 plus nx you might have to use this in some questions general terms for expansion of 1 minus x to the power minus n can be given as tr plus 1 is equal to n plus r minus 1 cr now let's have a look at multinomial theorem so if you have to find the expansion of x plus y plus z to the power n the general term is equal to n factorial upon p factorial into q factorial into r factorial into x to the power p y to the power q z to the power r where p plus q plus r is equal to 1. The number of terms are given by n plus d c d where d is nothing but number of terms in a and what is a? a is nothing but x plus y and b is z. Here are some standard results just have a look at them and pause the video and just see that these are some standard results okay so i hope you this video will be good this video has a lot of efforts which i write on the screen so it doesn't take a lot of effort so if you acknowledge the efforts just uh, share it among your friends let people know that there is a channel on Red Venetian name on youtube and there is a person who is making content so it would be of great help uh, thanks for 1k subscribers guys uh, i am so happy that uh, 1k subscribers ho gaye, finally now we can go live and we will get access to the community tab so we can interact with that too, I can polls conduct polls so yeah, thanks for that uh, apart from that uh, I have planned some other things like uh, animated subtopics for JWE main so that they will help you in your exam and on the side of it there is also a podcast plan that will also come and one very important thing that I started a podcast channel start kiya alag se, uh, by the name Baithak so you can also check out that too. We talk about uh, all the stuff like philosophy, psychology, economics, cinema and what not, literature uh, with different professors of IIT Bombay and students and alumni of IIT Bombay. So it's a lot of interesting content. Hai. If you feel like watching it, uh, I'll just put the link in the description as well as a channel here. So yeah, thanks for it guys. Bye.